All right, guys, welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, I want to start this video off by kind of apologizing for being uh, kind of not present recently. I, I had an idea for a long string of videos, but I kind of hit a roadblock. I'm, I'm kind of being cryptic because I don't want to give away what, what's coming next. Uh, you, you guys, I think you guys are going to enjoy this uh, to know what I'm talking about. You're gonna have to subscribe to my other channel and turn notifications on, uh, to Dylan the Live. Just type in at Dylan the all caps live because I'll be doing a huge stream here pretty soon. Uh, it'll be about three streams. I'm gonna try and make it three streams and I'll be live streaming something that I've never done before. So if you want to be a part of that, you want to be a part of the live stream, Stuff like that. Uh, subscribe to that. And uh, yeah, I I just hope you guys enjoy it and it's not a huge flop. Uh, but I have a good feeling that uh, it's going to be pretty good. It's uh, kind of like a challenge video, kind of. And uh, I have a feeling that you guys will like it. So if you guys you know want to know what I've been up to, I've actually live streamed a couple times. Uh, not recently, but uh, a couple times since I've kind of been on hiatus. Uh, just playing Call of Duty Ranked. Pretty fun. Uh, so go check out that. I'll also be on the live streaming channel. Uh, basically, if you see, like, you know, man, I wish there's more content, go to the live channel. I've been on that, uh, not really daily, but, like, frequently. So, yeah, go check that out. Um, and for the people that didn't give a shit about that whole intro, uh, welcome to the actual video. Just wanted to thank you guys so much for all the support. I have not forgotten about you guys. Uh, I'm gonna continue with this series right where we last left off uh there is kind of a weird part in the beginning it's where i bought the uh i bought a room and i was like is this record worthy or not i don't really know i'm just gonna put it in anyways uh but yeah i bought a room and it's like permanent so that's my permanent room that i have there so now i have another safe spot instead of just bonnie's farm uh we are gonna go i believe look for wes dickens or Bonnie, go to Bonnie. I think I'm gonna do a Bonnie mission, and, uh, yeah, so we're gonna do that. I got the game plan now. I uh, love you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support throughout this series. As I said before, you guys are killing it. Keep doing what you're doing. Pump us out until we eventually beat the game. That might be a thing that we're doing. Don't really know. We'll have to see how the rest of this goes. If you guys want to see more of this, you guys know what to do. But anyways, without further ado, let's get right back in this shit. Okay. You take care, lady. There might not be anyone around next time. Okay, four dollars will take it. I also want to say I have another save uh, because if you guys see that I'm saving and there's another save thing through this game, uh, there's another slot where I've been like full, like lowest honor. I've just been fucking around on that and it is pretty fun to do that. So that's going to be that other save. So if you guys are wondering about a second save, that's why. But anyways, let's get back to some Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, this video is like five minutes long. <laughs> it's probably gonna be like a 30 minute video. Because I usually when I do those long intros, I like to kind of, you know, add a little bit more time because I've wasted most of it by talking. So, and there's that. But yeah, we're gonna go do a Bonnie mission, I believe. I think. I think. I don't know why I'm talking like that. All right. I can take you all over. Here we go. I can go a little faster. Wait. I have seven dollars. Yeah. Yeah. After buying, I forgot. About after buying that. Well, I guess we're going the old-fashioned way. 
So after buying that uh, apartment, I apparently don't have enough money. So I guess we're going to go the long way. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to take a while. Oh, shit. Wait. Hold up. Fucking horse, man. Hold up. I will save you if I can get to you. God damn it. Keep running, buddy. Keep running. Oh, shit. It worked. My life, mister. Please take this. It's a pleasure to help. Alright. I'm mailing it because coyotes are like. It's like seven dollars, I think. Come on. Let's get this over. For coyotes? I don't I don't remember how much it is. Yeah, coyote and coyote meat. I think it's seven dollars altogether. I don't remember. We're gonna have to find out the next time we're at a uh general store we'll know how much it is anyways my horse that doesn't know how to stop oh wait i forgot yeah the controls are a little bit different just a tad bit yeah you have to hold rb to slow him down and then he just keeps running just keep on running are you gonna keep running okay there we go that motherfucker just keeps going. He just doesn't give two shits. Oh, there's a side mission? Let's do it. Let's do a side mission. Might as well. Howdy, partner. Well, howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? That'd well, be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No. Can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tide of ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper top. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> okay. Why don't you head over to the house right now? Clearly, you got time on your hands. Okay. Holy shit! Okay. This is way off from what I was gonna do, but whatever. With the power of editing, I can <laughs> shorten up this video. <laughs> I'm assuming this is it. This was the same house that they use for the bounty hunting mission, but whatever. We'll pretend that didn't happen. Alright, let's talk to him. Howdy, friend. 
I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200 I could give you the deed of this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. It's a bargain at twice the price. Pay the deed? I have to... Mm. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Eleven dollars. Hmm. God damn. Okay. Two hundred, partner. Take it or leave it. Can I be? Can I come back? Why don't you come back when you got the money? Okay. Give me some time. I'll be back. <laughs> Give me some time and I'll be back. Don't you worry, partner. Let's go. Wow, that is going to be a very long time. $200. I mean, that's... I mean, obviously, you know, for us, that is not that much money, you know, for people nowadays. But back then, that was a, that was a lot of money. I don't know, I don't know the figures or anything like that, but that is a lot of money back in those days. I mean, you can, like, pretty sure, like, $20 maybe got you first month's rent back in those days, I think. I'm not even 100% sure on that. I, I don't know any of the figures or anything like that, so don't quote me on that. You know what? I do have a money-making idea. I don't know if it'll knock my honor down. I'm gonna save and then see, but we have to do it at night. I'm gonna try to keep my honor at, like, a normal level. I don't want to be too much of a bad guy, you know? I don't know if stealing from a safe without anybody knowing will down my honor, but we're gonna find out. It's a little trick I've been doing on my other save. So we'll see. We'll see if it'll lower my honor. And then if it does, then we'll have to find another way to get $200. Okay. Okay, it's still daytime. So we will go again. There we go, night time. Okay, let's see if this will work. Okay, it's gotta be when no one's around. There's a lot of people. I wanna like truly make sure I will not get negative bounty for this. So I figured out this door is locked, right? Locked, can't go in. But the windows... You can easily... Do that. There we go. Okay, let's see if this will... Knock our... Honor down. Okay, there we go. I gotta get the middle one. And then the right one. Oh, it was in the 90s, okay. 
And... There we go. Fuck! It knocks down my honor! You know what? Losing a little bit of honor can't be that bad, right? I remember how much you get off of it. Oh no! We're gonna be wanted! Fuck! Take the rest and leave, take the rest and leave. I cannot loot the other one, but... Can I- can I loot it? Can I loot it? Fuck, I can't do it, well- FUCK! It'll use me- ah! No! 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 Fuck! Fucking hell, leave me alone! Leave me alone! Oh my god, it's not even worth it. It's not even worth it now. Okay, yeah, never mind. Just kill me. Just kill me. We're not doing it this way. Why don't you- I'm not even moving. Just shoot me. Shoot me! Kill me, you dumbass! Oh, there we go. Come on, come on. There we go. Alright. We're not playing that way. We're not- we're not gonna have low honor. Oh, that sucks. I was really hoping that it wouldn't have lowered my honor, but it did. I never got the law on me that quick, too. That was kind of weird. Like, I've done that a million times, and I've never had, like, uh, the law come after me. I don't know. A little weird. Am I back to $11? Yes, okay. Okay. Still same honor and everything. I can't see my honor. I have to wait for the notifications. Okay, I don't know. Okay. Back to eleven dollars and now we're gonna go do a Bonnie mission. So we have to figure out another way to get two hundred dollars. Is that mission still there, by the way? Okay, I'm assuming it'll always be there. Hopefully. Oh, I do a couple missions, I'll be able to get it. I don't even know what I'm getting out of this. Like, this guy just wants the land. For the water. Like, I'm just trying to... Trying to figure out how th it's gonna be good for me, because I'm gonna be out $200. If he doesn't give me more, I'm gonna be so mad. Like, if, uh... If I do this, and I don't get more than $200, I'm probably gonna take it by force. I I'm gonna say before I do the deal, I'm gonna take it by force, and then I'll have $200. And whatever, you know, whatever he gives me, you know? We're gonna try to play it passively, but there's some things I could probably get away with, you know? Alright, I finally made it. Finally made it back. I'm gonna save just in case I die. I'll end up right here. Just in case, if Bonnie's missions are any sort of dangerous, I don't really know. Alright, and get some ammo. I think I'm good. I guess I wasn't, okay. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna do it during the daytime. I don't want to do it during the nighttime. So let's skip to the daytime. Alright. Let's do it. Mr. Marston. I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. 
Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarlane. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarlane, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. Okay. Now I'm a farming man. understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're, they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. How are you, Miss McFarland? All right. Yeah, get that way. No, no, no. No, you. Oh, this is going to be difficult. This is going to be difficult. Let's move, dumbasses. Let's move. Come on now. <laughs> Just follow the nice lady. All 
No. Come on. Okay, here we go. Let's go straight, boys. The girls, go straight. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? This big ass. Oh god. Got some strays. Okay, thank you. Thanks. I don't know how sensing behind them, or sensing me behind them, makes them do that, but whatever. Whoa, I'll do it. Let's go. Easy. I went right in them. Okay. There we go. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. That was the mission? <laughs> okay. I thought something bad was about to happen. Or something. Let's go. Alright, well, might as well do one more. Might as well. I'm gonna save first because that was. I don't wanna <laughs> re. I know it's really fun, but I don't wanna redo that enthralling gameplay you guys just saw, so. Anyways. Ooh, you can join in on a game of horseshoe? That's pretty sick. That's not what it said on the top left, but that's what I read for some reason. Anyways. There we go. And it's not too dark, okay. Let's talk to Bonnie. Mr. Marston, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiven sun. That whole herd of cattle was take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. Sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. 
Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Right, now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. Okay. Some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eye. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy but the I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Yeah. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> We're not getting political here, alright? I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Oh, the oh, I already got it. Okay. Come on. Whoa. Get that one. You I didn't even. That, rope or not. that one. There we go. That's it. Don't give up. There we go. Okay, you gotta go. Come on. You gotta go against him. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Mount up, Marston. You leave this one to me. I think that's an effectivity for an old timer like me. I think this one back to the ranch. See you later. Come on then. Let's see if you can get another one. Alright. Let's go for that one. Or I get closer. Or that one. There we go. Hold on to him. All yours. Hop on and show him his box. That's it. Play with him. Almost got you. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Almost got him. Holy shit! Man, that was rough. Okay. You're a regular Bronco Buster, Steve Boy. Nice work. I think that'll do it for today. Let's get back to the ranch. All right. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor, but it's straight and it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired then. Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. <laughs> Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural in Bustin' Broncos? That was fun. I think you could be a fine rancher one day. If you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. Sure. <laughs> that was the most unsure sure I've ever heard. <laughs> Maybe. You know.
Although he's been through, probably not. <laughs> Easy now. Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. Okay. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, <laughs> that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He'd never admit it, but my pa's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. Looks like the ranch hand's up ahead. All right. Let's drive them up the canyon where it narrows. We'll trap them there. Oh, I've earned the complete trust of my mount. Okay. Awesome. To make it way easier to ride now. Supposedly what it says. What's the signal? What's the signal? I don't know what the signal is. She just said wait for her signal. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't know what the signal is. I'm just gonna bring him that way. Easy. Come on. Oh no, the rocks, the rocks. There we go. There we go. Looks like we got the lot of them. What magnificent animals they are. Hey, the stallion's getting away. Chase him down and bring him back. Oh, shit. I'm getting the stallion. That, that's a really fucking fast one. I know that. Holy shit. That thing is moving. Come on. Come. Oh, you're getting obstacles in the way. You better watch out. Bro, this thing is going faster. Ah, oh, my horse! No! Move, move. Why are you just going in circles? That was really easy, actually. Why are you going in circles? That you just fucked yourself, kind of, if I could get... 
Gotcha! Get! Or not. Oh, you're just gonna stop now? You're tired? Okay. It's alright! Come on, baby! Calm down! Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, I, I'm literally on the cact- I can't see! I can't see! Oh my god. Okay, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Relax now. Nearly there. there we go. Let's go. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. Okay. Right as I got full trust of the other one? That's kind of funny. Okay. A rare and agile horse. You bet your ass it was. Oh my god. Now I'm available to purchase from stores. Okay. I don't have any money. I got like $16. Okay. Main thing I wanted to unlock was the lasso, and I was kind of waiting for that mission. But uh, yeah, next time we'll be doing the uh, West Dickens uh, one, but I'm just gonna. Wait, what did I do with my other horse? Is it just at a stable or something? I don't know. I got a horse. That's all I know. Oh, wait. Hold on. What's going on here? Okay, chill out here. Is it another one of these? I think it's another one of these missions where... I go out... Oh. You okay, lady? My husband's missing. These bastards won't do anything. But he's a good man. He don't drink nor lay with whores. And he's been, he's been missing for three days. Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. Oh, oh my God. If he's gone, then what'll I do? We ain't got much money. And I'm in the family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. <laughs> okay, we'll do this last thing. Hey, I mean, I have to have a saddle. I'm not fucking scraping my nuts against this back. Like, that'd be really nice to have is like a saddle, but whatever. Bear back like the Indians do. And very excited women. <laughs> it's like over here, right? I'm going the right way, I think. Okay, I went a little bit too far. I need to go this way. Let's go. Okay, and over here. Come on. Oh, there's a campsite. And somebody's alive. City fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me, and then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> why the why fuck is people just leave me alone? I was like, why is he laughing? You're Guess what crazy. I got, asshole? Yeah! Hog tie! Got your ass now. Alright. Please. I'll do anything. Have you been killing people, huh? Well, we're gonna find out. Need the bottom of this. This maniac tried to eat me. We've got cannibals in these here hills. Please help me. What? Please. Fellas gotta eat now. Fellas got to eat. Uh, Wait. Uh, save me from this freak, please. Please. <laughs> Wait a minute, no. Yeah, no. For the love of God. Jumped with joy. Alright. Cut free. Just stay calm. Alright. You can... Town's that way. I don't know if... <laughs> okay. Well, I took care of him. Where the fuck did his dead body go? Well, it's gone now. Okay. Finish the mission. Alright. I got that was an optional thing. Like, it... You can just leave them to eat them? Wow. Alright, anyways, now that we finished that mission... So, all of those people are dead. All those people were eaten. Even a little kid. Okay, well, anyways... I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support on this series so far. If you guys want to see more of this, you want to keep the series going, you guys know what to do. Drop a like, leave a comment. That will also let me know if you guys want to see more of this. But anyways... Meantime, drop a like, leave a comment, and welcome to the revolution.